Welcome friends. Today we're going to go over a Dash 3D tutorial about another application called FaceGen Artist Pro. What FaceGen will allow you to do is take a picture of a real person and apply it to a 3D character in Dash Studio, whether it's Genesis, Genesis 2, 3, 8, or 8.1. Um, you may have seen another video that I had comparing face gen and face transfer and I was saying that um, you know, Shape wise face gen is probably the more precise or accurate um, Program and a couple people have asked about me doing the tutorial. So here we go. So this is an example of a Genesis 8 character using me as in the example and we're gonna go over how to get a result close to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make a new file in Genesis and go back to Texture Shade It. So we'll come back to this in a moment. You will need to get uh, Genesis or FaceGen Artist Pro from their website. It's a third party application. So go to facegen.com and you will probably need the pro version which is what i got and it is a paid program so you have to pay for it and install it this is own application and this is generally what it looks like when you first um open it up except for there won't be a face here or if there is it's a it's another generic face not this this was a previous project so ignore this for now the first thing we want to do is load one to three images front uh, optionally optionally left and right photos and let's take note of things that we need and don't need we need a basically a passport or mugshot type photo which is basically facing forward neutral facial expression no smiling no open mouth um, evenly lit um, camera should not be too close to the face so avoid selfie pictures as much as possible even though that's what I'm using for my example um, take a camera should be a little bit further away to get a better perspective on the face some bad examples are shown here unevenly lit mouth open or smiling no transparency or glossiness and we should take it from a good angle uh, and so forth and so on. Let's go ahead and load our images. So I'm going to be using this one for the front, this one for the facing right, and this one for facing left. We hit next. We can use this rotate tool to rotate into right orientation using the left mouse button to move around. And what they want us to do is put markers in the places they show in the example in the top right. So the first part is gonna be the center of the right eye, center of the left eye, the outside of the right nair, which is outside of the right part of the nose, the left part of the nose, the corner, right corner of the mouth, left corner of the mouth. Um, one thing to note here is that you don't really want to have any bangs or anything on top of the face or to the side of the face because that will become part of the texture. Um, so we know here that this facial hair will become part of the texture as a flat. Um, part of the texture but that's okay because very short facial hair I bring this up because um, next part we need to do is the center of the chin which would be a little bit difficult because of facial hair but I'm just going to uh, guesstimate right around here the outer corner of the right part of the jaw I'm going to say is about here the left corner of the jaw about here the outside of the right cheekbone, it's a little hard for me to see, but I think it's about here. The left cheekbone, outside corner, about here. Now it goes to the right picture, so we're gonna rotate again. 
First part we want to do with the cilian, it's part of the nose. So I'm going to guess right about here. Bridge of the nose. About here. Tip of the nose. Here. Okay, wait a minute. I'm, I'm ahead of myself, so I see I was supposed to do that earlier. So let me go back. You hit back to go back to previous. Ah, uh, that's why I messed up. So after the ceiling, I'm supposed to do the outer corner of the eye. Um, let me go back one more time and redo that and get precisely the corner. It's a little bit better. Bridge of the nose. Tip of the nose. Base of the nose. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, the upper the tip of the upper corner of the upper lip. Same thing for the bottom of the lip. The front of the chin. I'm going to guesstimate right about here. And then the lower edge of the jaw here. Now we do the same thing for the other part of the side of the face. The cellian. Outer corner of the eye. Bridge of the nose. Tip of the nose. Base of the nose. Upper part of the upper lip, bottom part of the lower lip. Um, here we're going to have the front of the chin and then the edge of the jaw. And here we can choose a couple of different options. Use only points from the profile photos, which is basically only used the left and right photos or use details from the profile photos. And the, the, the advice here is a little cut off, so I don't, I don't know what it says in, in total. Anyways, I'm gonna use this option to use all three photos. Now, it's gonna analyze the images and generate a face here. So we're done with the analysis and let's get it has given us a representation of what the face may look like. Um, so I'm kind of okay with the results. So if you want to change something in here interactively, what you would do is you can use shift click to move the face around and use the left mouse to move it, rotate it. Let's say I want the cheeks to be wider. I would hold control and left click to move the cheeks about. If you want to undo it, you have to go to undo every time and click undo. If you wanted to move the cheek asymmetrically, you would hold control and right click. Although it does have some effects on other parts of the face if you do it asymmetrically. Uh, so moving right along, uh, a lot of the adjustments you can make here in FaceGen are under the Modify panel. And going over here to Demographics, you can change the age of the character. Be rather young or a lot older. Uh, you can change the gender. Uh, the shape, whether it's caricature or monster or no um, modifications at all. I usually leave this at default. You can also change the how symmetric or asymmetric it is. And you can also change um, kind of the ethnicity of the character um, and these all have relationships to each other so if you change one of these it changes the others you can go to interactive this 
gives the instructions for what I just described about clicking on the character and changing things manually. You can also use these to tw twist and shift different parts of the face. And change the lightness and darkness of different parts of the face individually. You can use these to give different details. It'll try to mix in these preset textures with your face, although it kind of overwhelms it. So for example, this, um, if you want more uh, facial details, you can do it for male or female. Between, I believe you can, what you do is if you wanted to mix two characters together to make a new character, you would do that here. So you would load target to get the picture and then it would uh, mix the two together and make a new character. This would be good for something like if you had a, a man and a woman and you want to have a character represent a child, that would could be a use case right here. Genetic, what you do is you hit generate and you can change the variation that generate and it'll create um, your different variations based on this center picture, which is the original one and It'll give different variations on that same face. So when you're ready to go, you would go to File, Export, the parameter group, which I would just leave the same, give it a name. I think we're at Will 7 now. And then choose what file format you want to export as uh, male or female, Genesis 1, 2, 3, 8, or 8.1. I'm going to leave it on Genesis 8 male for right now. You choose your DAS content directory. So I'm choosing this first one. So this would be important to know later. Uh, spherical eyes, I leave this unchecked. What happens is sometimes with spherical eyes checked, sometimes the eye mesh will kind of um, bleed outside of the face mesh somewhere over here. Or when the eyes rotate during animation, um, some of the eye mesh is, is absent or blank or black, which doesn't work for your animation. So I leave this unchecked in most of my cases. You can customize color maps if you want to. Um, I usually don't mess with this. Then you hit export and it will uh, um, basically automatically uh, publish uh, face color maps for your face, arms, legs, and torso in the appropriate directories. So let's go ahead and do that. It only takes a few moments. So it tells you where your face morph will go. And then your new color maps will go into this directory. Um, and it'll tell you what tells you what to do basically from here on how to find the morphs and the color maps. But um, I'll go through that here in this tutorial. Um, do you do want to take note of this directory? Uh, if you want to write it down when you export, that's fine. Um, I tried to copy and paste earlier with this and didn't really copy, so but we're going to tra traverse manually to that location. So in DAS Studio, what you would do is basically create a generic Genesis 8 character, like so. And then I'm going to go to iRay. Well, let's go to PPR from right now. Oh man, that is bright. Let's go to parameters. And I just went to basically all for Genesis 8 male. And I had already typed in what I called the character. So it had several versions already. And even though we saved it as seven, I want to work with the earlier version that I call five. 
because I, was, I know I'm good with the result. Go back to texture shade it. So you can see it changed the facial morphs to my character. And then the next thing we need to do is apply the surfaces or the textures to the character. Now before we get into that, uh, sometimes you may want to make edits to the facial textures um, to, to more of your liking. For example, uh, my eyes, my actual eyes are a little asymmetric. I mean, everyone's are, everybody, everybody's eyes are, but mine didn't really work for this. So let me see if I can make an example. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the face texture. Let's go to browse. And this is the Genesis 8 basic texture. So let's go up a couple of levels up to texture. And in textures, there should be a face gen directory Genesis 8 mail. Let's go to let's go to an older version. Will four? I think we'll see the four or five. Let me check the date. Okay, no. Let's go to Will. Let's try. Actually, let's just do the one that we we did today. So let's go to IRA right quick. See right here is the actual meshes corner of the eye, but in the texture it is way over here. So it, it, it looks it looks off. So what you can do is go to a program like GIMP or Photoshop and traverse to that same location where you got the texture from and manually edit it. So what I did is I went to that corner of the eye and I used the smudge tool um, wherever that is in, in Photoshop and I it, it was up here somewhere and I used a smudge tool to drag this basically this part of the face down down to here. And that is shown by going to browse and I believe it was under will four where I have one that's corrected. And that, and now this one is a little bit better as far as that eye corner. Now you may have other things that parts of the face you want, want to adjust. So um, you would do something similar. So anyway, that is the basic workflow of how you would apply the textures. You go to surfaces, your character, under skin lips and or under surfaces you would expand that and go to each body part go to browse and you would go to textures face gen genesis 8 male go to your character and you select the texture so what you can do is go here select that and hit control c to copy that directory so you want to do it every time now apply the arm texture Let me zoom out here so you can see that's changed cornea nothing here ears you would use the face texture again so we just go down here and select the face one again eye moisture eye socket same thing use the face Face we've already done. Fingernails would be part of the arm. Irises, we we use the eye texture. So we select this. Legs, we go ahead and have to do the same process. Lips are part of the face. Mouth, we can leave the same. Pupils, select the eye texture again. Sclera, eyes. Teeth, toenails are part of the legs. And then torso has its own texture. Go to brows. And select the torso texture. 
and that should handle everything else. A couple things I want to fix here. I want to use another set of eyes because um, in this texture it kind of did, uh, it's hard to see here, but it kind of captured part of the eyelids as part of the eye texture. And that colors are way off, because, probably because of camera flash or something like that. The other issue I have here is that the overall texture is a little too red compared to my actual skin. You can see here. So there's a couple of ways we can tackle this. The first thing you can do is go to lips, nails, or skin, lips, and nails, and go down to translucency weight, and you can basically take this down, and that gives a pretty decent result. Hit Control Z to go back. You can also mess with translucency color. Um, and like we mess with the colors and we can get different results that way as well. A third thing we can do, and that's the way I'm going to go, is we, if you have a character already in your dash content that is similar, um, you can apply, what we can do is apply that material for that character and we'll overwrite your, our materials and however what it would also do is take care of different things that we don't have such as the translucency color map um, glossy layer weights it will replace it with a more appropriate color top coat weight different textures that we don't have from face gen translucency color we mentioned that before um, it will use the that from the new character and then we go back later and apply the base color again which will be a pretty quick process so let's go ahead and we'll go to IRA for this character um, and then select all maps so it just changed everything texture wise to that new character Including the eyes and I'm gonna leave the eyes the same but what I'm going to do is change most of everything else back so arms I'll just go back and select the arm texture for my character I'm gonna focus just on the face for time's sake uh, face face texture and then lips face texture see anything else ears let's change the face texture let's go ahead and change the torso back although it doesn't matter as much And then, right quick, we're going to apply some hair that I have from a dad store. Let's go ahead and close these things out. I think we have a pretty good result here. Oops. In comparison, yeah, that really helped give us a cleaner texture um, that is more animation ready. And that is a general workflow of how you would use FaceGen to create DAS 3D characters. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have any questions, let me know in the comments. And have a blessed day.